How's everybody doing today? Uh, today is, I think it's Sunday, um, but anyway, we're tending the hay that we cut down yesterday. Uh, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we're kind of down in the valley. We got the M4 back out. Um, we're using a um, Citrix 4 basket tether to tether it. Um, it was pretty thick. Uh, I'll show you what we're working with and show you what this tether does uh, as far as for drying your hay out. Let me show you. Uh, so you can see uh, the difference there between the tethered hay and the non tethered hay. And we're just going to give you a little ride here. You can see it in the This, uh, this valley we have is super thick, so you can see the green spots out in the hay. Um, and this tether, I don't know if you can see it very well, once again I'm filming with an iPhone. I don't have a GoPro or anything like that, so bear with me with the video, but uh, you can see that, how that just throws the hay, uh, gets it out of the it down from the disc mower and really just kind of shoots it everywhere. I'll probably actually come down after I do the top 10 acres and uh, plus this bottom part again. Um, once again, here's the, the difference between you have 10 a day and not 10 a day. You just see how it uh, really just spreads it out and helps that dry and you carry the process. Um, See my big old hill here and this is the right level. This is that hill that I was talking about yesterday long time. Always a good time when you get off. Um, you see going straight down here. Whoa, like a roller coaster. <clears throat> anyway, uh M4 is doing great. I think I talked about some of the things in the before but that little RPM, but you know, uh, it's designed to maintain your RPM going up and down hills. I just don't even know why you'd ever turn it off. It's a uh, bit spectacular. The tractor's been great so far. The equipment's holding up. Uh, I did have a flat tire on my on my hay rake. Um, but, uh, I got got it taken off, but it's Sunday, so I have to go in in the morning. We should be raking and baling tomorrow, depending on what the moisture content is in the bales. Uh, this valley here is going to be our deciding factor whether we even do the bottom uh, field tomorrow. We might hold off and um, give it another day to cure and uh, bale it on Tuesday. But I'm hoping with uh, letting it sit for about an hour or so while I go hit the top part of the field come back and uh, spread it out again. Uh, we'll allow it to really cure and dry down. We'll be able to take care of it tomorrow. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to work. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update, see the middle process, and uh, have a good day.